Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Horizon Leadership Academy. My name is Dr. Nuruddin Burka. I'm the society's superintendent. Today, I'd like to give you an introduction to our school. Horizon Academy Institute have been in existence for the last 14 years, working in areas of education and leadership development. We started as a weekend school in 2006 in the Southwest Mosque. In 2017, Horizon Leadership Academy was initiated as a faith-based public school, elementary school from K to 6 and the Arisa district. And in 2018, we started the junior high, a daycare, a preschool and before and after school. 2019 also witnessed the initiation of our after school Quran programs. In 2020, we generated a uh, draft for a foundation for Islamic education. I'll tell you more about it in a minute. And uh, Alhamdulillah, this year we have acquired a better and safer school building that we will be moving to uh, next school year. A couple of years ago in 2019, uh, Mr. Musa Awaro, our current principal, have joined Horizon Academy. Mr. Awaro has over 20 years of experience in education, teaching, and leadership. He came to us with a, a Master's of Art in Translation Studies uh, School of Language in UK, uh, a Bachelor's in Education from UK, and he has served as principal for multiple schools, both here in Canada and abroad. Mr. Awar's uh, goals for the school is to look after the student's well-being by making the school a welcoming and appealing learning environment, free of bull bullying, harassment, discrimination, and all kinds of uh, hazards. Helping our children build strong character and develop the 21st century and basic leadership skills that enable them to positively and competitively contribute to their uh, community and to the whole society at large. Uh, develop uh, students' literacy and numeracy skills, as these are the foundation for academic excellence and revamping the Arabic and Islamic studies and Quranic program curricula. Currently, the academy runs an elementary school from K to 6, a junior high from grade 7 to 9, and a licensed preschool. As we continue our journey, the society have uh, revamped its vision, and our new vision reads as developing leaders through transformation learning. This was a uh, collaborative effort by many members of the society that lasted a year. Our current focus is on literacy and academic excellence. We offer Islamic education and a culture in a safe environment. We've been working uh, to revamp Islamic studies based on a newly developed Islamic foundation. And our Arabic curricula catering to different types of learners and different goals. Parents send their children to learn Arabic, some to uh, be able to read Quran, some to be able to communicate, some to be able to have direct access to uh, Arabic books. And we offer a variety of opportunities for continuing education to our staff through Palliser District and also through Horizon Society. As you can see here, our staff uh, get many opportunities of continuing education and training. And this here highlighting some of the opportunities that have materialized over the last three years. Traditionally, our Islamic teaching model is anchored in the uh, teaching of Quran, Tantik Sunnah, focusing on the objective of the Islamic studies, focusing on objective of Sharia, so-called Maqasid, also appealing to the fitra of the child, uh, adopting a moderate approach to Islam, focusing on spirituality, ethics and morals and on critical thinking for our children so this has been um, our the, the model that we've been uh, working around when it comes to islamic uh, teaching but uh, our society have been uh, working in parallel uh, with a team of thinkers to come up with a new foundation for islamic education our focus when it comes to quran is to teach the children how to properly read the Quran, how to understand it and memorize some of it as during the school. We don't have time to get into heavy memorization, but we have 
uh, after school programs where the children can uh, get more intense memorization. And so we try to have a balance between the reading and the understanding and the memorization. Uh, I was mentioning that uh, we've uh, embarked into uh, research on coming up with Islamic Studies Foundation. Um, and we put together a, a committee and the scope of this committee and its goals was to review and define the framework of Islamic studies area. And the goal is to come up with a framework that satisfies the expectations, draw the boundaries and dimensions, and defines the standard for any Islamic studies curriculum, whether it's a, a class a curriculum, school curriculum, or is a lecture in Islamic studies, or is a khutbah that require a foundation. And the approach we used to uh, work on this project is design thinking. These are the um, uh, components of the framework for our Islamic foundation. Uh, we have to mind what kind of models of Islamic education do we want to adopt? Uh, what are the goals? Uh, what kind of environment? Uh, what about citizenship? Uh, we have to mind the stakeholders, the parents, the students, the teachers, and the society at large. We have to understand that we live in a society that is diverse, and so we have to mind pluralism and uh, teach our, our kids how to interact with the people of other faith, people of no faith, so they can uh, be proud of their faith and interact with the society in a healthy way. Uh, and also we have to mind the methodology and the teaching approach. And so all that was considered in coming up with a foundation for Islamic education. Currently, our principal and the Islamic uh, Studies Department meet on a weekly basis to implement the foundation that the society uh, have uh, put together. So our uh, school community is uh, diverse and growing. Uh, we, we have been always looking for new facilities to give our children a better environment of learning. Uh, and alhamdulillah, uh, we were able to identify a new facility that uh, fix a lot of uh, deficiency of the current school we have, and we will be moving into this new school in September 2021. This school is uh, in uh, Queensland. It is uh, surrounded with uh, a lot of green space, uh, ample space for both indoor and outdoor for the children to uh, enjoy a healthy environment of learning. Uh, this is the uh, layout of the school has a big gym indoor gym have uh, classrooms uh, dispersed in different areas uh, have different facilities have an administrative area this this is the gym uh, of the school uh, you could play here basketball um, could play uh, mini soccer games and many many athletic uh, exercises um, especially in winter of calgary when it gets too cold children can continue their physical activities uh, we have uh, space for a large library, and the library is a critical component of any school. So this is um, a common area where students can come, interact with the librarian, get books, uh, uh, and, and do projects. Um, the facility have a kitchen, more than one set of bathrooms for boys and girls, have showers, uh, dressing areas, uh, have uh, physical education offices and, and ample storage areas. Our admin area where uh, Principal Musa, uh, the administration office, um, are located uh, at the entrance of uh, the school building. Uh, we have also a, a large lunch room with uh, a kitchen and a theater stage. And so this uh, allows the children to have their lunch in a safe uh, manner. Um, also, the school has space for growth where the rectangles here are location where we could add extra classroom in, in the future as needed. So we have enough space to add seven classrooms if we decide to grow into uh, high school. Uh, there's a lot of outdoor space, uh, as you could see here, a lot of green space, playground. Um, so here, this is the playground. It's a large equipped uh, uh, playground. Uh, we also have a baseball uh, field. We also have two soccer fields. Uh, we have plenty of parking. We have a, a parking in the south side of the building and another parking in the north side of the building. Busing uh, for uh, 
areas where we have uh, a uh, student clusters. The school is uh, located in Queensland. It is accessible to all quadrants of the city. Obviously, people who live nearby Queensland, some of them could uh, walk to school or drive for a minute. For people who live in, in the Douglas uh, Glen area, it takes eight minutes. For people living in the Singleton Hill area or, or downtown, it takes 18 to 19 minutes drive. And for uh, people in Northeast, in Falcon Ridge, 27 minutes. And those on, in Cougar Ridge in Southwest, uh, 27 minutes. Uh, we do understand that there is a sacrifice for parents who are driving their children, but uh, we think uh, after a lot of consultation with different stakeholders uh, that uh, our children need a uh, proper uh, school facility. The sacrifice of the parent is worth it uh, to afford their children an Islamic public education in a safe manner where they can grow, where they can have uh, physical activities, both uh, indoors and outdoors. This school we're gonna move to was built as a school and like the current building we have, it is uh, catering for all the needs of uh, the children. This school um, will have uh, a long-term uh, lease in this school uh, over 15 years. So we'll have a continuity and stability for our parents and children. When it comes to a registration, uh, registration is open for KG to grade nine. Uh, the, our standard fee for under the month. For parents who cannot afford the, the standard fee, we have uh, bursaries that we offer uh, people in need uh, for the, those bursaries. Um, parents who are interested to inquire and to learn more about the school can uh, check us on this website, horizonleadershipacademy.com, or call the school at 403-607-0817. So finally, why Horizon? Horizon uh, focused on literacy and academic excellence. Horizon is providing the children with an Islamic culture. Horizon has a unique and innovative approach uh, to Islamic and Quranic teaching. We have Arabic classes for different type of learners. Uh, we have a school facility with ample indoor and outdoor sports facilities. We have school bus provided in areas where student clusters exist. And we have uh, done and continue to do extensive investment uh, on staff uh, continuing education. And uh, we have affordable costs for all community and we continue to uh, fundraise to give uh, parent uh, bursaries. Uh, again, if you like to know more, please uh, contact at 403-607-0817 uh, to talk to one of our admin assistants, either Sister Zinab Al-Qadiri or Nadia Subani. We will be happy to give you more information. And looking forward to see you and meet you and your children. We will be having open houses. So uh, we welcome you to join us in safe open houses we're going to do via Zoom uh, until the condition of the pandemic uh, is relief and then we could have a face-to-face -face open houses.